Um, the first thing that, and the most important thing that I can say to anyone, you did not receive anything else, and shame on you if you didn't. But if you don't have a prayer life, if you don't have a prayer life, you are missing out on the abundance of greatness. Do you know what prayer does? Do you know the connection to the Father is so needed? So, and the other thing, if you only pray when you're in trouble, you are in trouble. I was that foolish woman before. I recognize though the woman who had the marriage, who been married two times, four times, how many ever times, three times for me, three times is a charm. This is the first real marriage. We gonna get into that too. With my um first husband, real quick, quick story um about the first husband. He was a liar. He's going in the room. He was a liar. He was a cheater. No, I'm serious. He was a liar. He was a cheater, and he was a drug dealer. But guess what? I still married him. He was all those things before I married him. But see, at that time in my life, I fell in love with material things. So superficial. He was taking care of me. So I connected with that person in spite of all of that. God didn't tell me to marry him. Real quick, I'm going to talk about not fall, how not to fall in love with potential, but fall in love with reality. Husband number two. Fell in love with potential. Okay, I'm not going to talk about him long. If y'all notice in my book, I would skip right on over him. That was that uh-oh, bump my head, messed up, didn't have no business again. Because what I learned from the first relationship is I didn't want another dope dealer. But I should have learned so many other things along the way. Instead, I'm like, oh, well, I got myself together. All he needed somebody to support him, to help him along. He talking about starting a business. He on the computer. He looking up stuff. You're number one. No manifestation. You're number two, still on the computer. Try to maintain patience through the struggles. They're going to come, but be patient. Know that God is God all by himself. Know that. Work on ways to improve yourself. When we work on ways to improve ourselves, our light will shine, and God will work on those brothers. I'm telling you. Living witness. Living witness. You are not your husband's mother. Know your role and know your place. Do I know my place? Never, you better say. <laughs> know your place. Your husband loves his mother. You should love your mother-in-law. You should love her as well. He loves her and she has a very different role from you. You can't be her and she cannot be you. So we all need to get along, period. Continue to form, to continue to perform your wifely duties no matter what. I know that's a stretch, but again, God will honor you for your obedience and for your sacrifice. Don't stop cooking. The kitchen clubs. Um, and he ain't getting none today. You mad walking around and talking to him, all that crazy stuff. No sense. Okay, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. You all may have also noticed on the um on your table that I have a ebook that's launching on May 6th. So if you will, it's the power of a purpose-driven woman. It's going to be an ebook, and I'm going to do an online launch. So you'll be able to log right on, click on the link, and it'll download the book. Because again, I'm going to be in Korea, y'all. So. <laughs>
and you can literally see the change taking place in the women's lives. Um, we've had vendors here. It has just been such a joyous occasion to be able to connect with such great women that all have the same mind, same thought process. They all have a common goal, and that is to be empowered, changed, healed, and delivered. And so I'm just glad to be here. I'm glad to be a part of it. I'm so glad. And I invite you to come next year. You don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it. This event will change your life. If you're married, if you're single, if you want to be married, get here. Your life will be changed. You'll be blessed by the information that is given out. God bless you all.